Hi, I'm Eric from UW-Bafo Learning Technologies. This video is going to be a walkthrough on how to record using a Tegrity app on an iPad. Before getting started, you will need to make sure that Tegrity is installed on your iPad. If you have not already installed Tegrity, go to your App Store, go to the search bar, and type in Tegrity, hit search, should be your first app that appears. Make sure you select the iPad app and click install. Once Tegrity is installed on your iPad, head back to your home screen and tap on the Tegrity app icon. When you first start up Tegrity on the iPad, it will ask you for a connection code. To generate a connection code for the Tegrity app on the iPad, you will have to log into Tegrity. So go to uw.tegrity.com, log in with your UWN ID, Go to settings. Under iOS Android, there should be a button to generate your code. Click that button. You'll see a six digit code that pops up. Enter this code into your iPad and tap connect. When you first log into Tegrity on an iPad, you will see three options view recordings, bookmarks and notes, and settings. For some reason, the record function will not appear upon login. You will first have to go into view recordings, then exit out of view recordings, and then you will see that the record function appears. This appears to be a bug in the iPad app and will hopefully be fixed in the next update. Now let's go over the features of the Tegrity app. To view existing recordings, click on the view recordings button. This will bring up a list of classes that you are currently teaching or are currently in. Let's tap one of the classes to view the recordings for that class. And a list of the recordings will appear. You will also see a preview of the recording at the bottom. Simply tap on one of these images to view the recording. The next feature is the bookmarks and notes. This will bring up a list of bookmarks and notes that you have made on your recordings. The main feature of the Tegrity app is the record function. This allows you to record video on the iPad and upload these videos to Tegrity. So now let's select the course for which to upload the Tegrity video to. We'll ask you for a recording name. I'll just type in iPad to differentiate from the other videos that I already have. Next. Here you can select whether to upload an existing video file that's on your iPad or to record a new video. When recording on the iPad, you can choose to record from either the back camera or the front camera. To switch camera views, simply tap the icon up here and then tap this button here to begin recording. You can probably see me right now since it's recording from a front camera. So I'll just let this record for a couple of seconds. And then once you're finished recording, tap the button again. If the video didn't turn out right, you can always retake the shot by tapping this button over here. Once we're finished recording, tap the Use button to begin the upload process. It is important to note that you do not interrupt this upload process or exit out of your app, otherwise your Tegrity recording will not be uploaded. Once the video has been uploaded, it will take a couple of minutes for the video to process on Tegrity. You may now exit the app if you are finished recording. 
Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you have any questions about recording with Tegrity on an iPad, please contact us via email at learningtech at u.b.edu. For more tutorials on Tegrity, please visit our website at www.u.b.edu slash learningtech. Thanks.